Hello everyone, this is Lady T with Design to a T. Welcome to my channel. This has been a long time coming and so we are finally working on our master bedroom makeover series. And so today we are going to be painting some furniture. We're actually going to be restoring my dresser and my armoire and we're going to share with you our journey as to what was involved with the painting process and so I'm so excited to show you the reveal and I'm sure that you've already seen it with the thumbnail but we wanted to share with you some of the tips and tricks that we occurred um, you know in our journey of painting the furniture so guys if you happen to be new here welcome to the channel I'm so glad that you are here I'm excited to share with you this video and hope that you will uh, like the video and you will um, consider you know subscribing and if so don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the no notification bell twice so that you may be notified as to when I upload a video thanks so much for visiting and if you desire to see the process of painting my dresser and my armoire stay tuned So guys, this is the dresser that we are speaking of and we're going to be painting. I uh, just wanted to let you know that there, um, it looks as though there is a drawer missing, but it is not. That was the piece that we started to, you know, uh, do our testing on. So um, it is not missing. It is a part of the dresser still. <laughs> so um, again, this dresser is approximately 15 years old and we've had it, for, of course, for the 15 years um, and it's still in perfect condition. It just needs to be updated and I'm no longer liking the color of it, you know, and so um, we decided to go ahead and paint it. Um, we've been shopping around to see if we could find, you know, more furniture, but there is none made like this. This is very well made and I have yet to come across another dresser that is, um, you know, the same quality. And so this is part of the reason why we wanted to paint it and so the top part started to peel just as the nightstands did and so if you have not seen the video that we have done on our nightstands as well that will be linked below in my description box and so here we are also um, testing the side of the dresser to make sure that the paint is adhering well and also that we like the paint color. And these are all of the items that we are going to be using for this project. So guys, here we are going to start the process with sanding the top area of my dresser so that we can get that all smoothed out and ready to go. So we're going to sand this with, um, I believe it's the 180 
um, paper first and using the hand sander and then my husband's going to come back through and do it with uh, a finer grit paper to even smooth it out you know even more and so here he is he's um, using uh, I believe a 220 grit so that he can smooth it out even um, more so so um, after that we are going to clean it off with the Microsoft fiber um, cloth and making sure that we've gotten all of the debris and all of the dust off of the top of the dresser and we just want to let you know that the top of the dresser was the only area that we needed to sand down um, the paint was perfect it adhered to the furniture very well and um, I have to tell you um, the finished product is absolutely beautiful and also the paint I just love because it did not take long to dry but it did take a while to cure and so that's what's important you have to allow it to cure long enough so that you're not putting anything on it that it's not getting scratched up you know before it dries completely and so um, I'm just so pleased with this paint. And if you have not seen the um, product in the beginning of the video, I will have it also linked in the description box below. So guys, I just wanted to show you what the dresser looks like after the first coat. It looks pretty good. Uh, uh, the paint is adhering very well. It is drying very quickly. Um, but again, this is the first coat. And so it can be dry on the surface, but it's not dry underneath. So we want to make sure that it's dry completely. So we let it dry for a couple of um, hours before we did the second coat. And here, what you're seeing is where we sanded and um, the paint did not um, completely cover. And so we decided to uh, cover the dresser with two more coats. And here we are about to um, put the doors back on after um, the drying process. And before that happens, we are going to spray paint the hinges so that we can uh, replace the hinges back onto the door and then the door back onto the dresser. So guys, what you're looking at here is a drawer handle template. And the purpose of this is so that you may be able to, you know, uh, drill your holes into your drawers evenly and straight. So uh, what I failed to mention uh, prior to this is that we had to cover all of our holes with wood filler and allow that to dry and be able to paint over that and put in new holes because the handles that we had just did not fit. And we also had to cut down the screws for the handles that we purchased. And so what you're looking at here is my husband is breaking off the 
uh, the screws so that they will be able to fit through the drawers. Now here we decided to put on a clear water-based um, polyurethane so that we may be able to make the top a lot more durable than, you know, just with the paint. And so, um, as you can see, the um, three coats of paint did a beautiful job um, covering up all of those um, areas that uh, we were concerned about. And so um, this paint is just awesome. I, I, I love the way that it levels out and it doesn't leave any streaks. And so um, again, I will have all of that listed in the description box below. But here is the polyurethane that we are using. And it is uh, Verathane uh, Ultimate Polyurethane. And so um, hopefully um, you're able to purchase this in your local stores. Now, I just wanted to mention that we allowed this to dry for a couple of days before we put any material on top of it or even, you know, in the drawers. We did not want to disturb the paint at all. Um, and I have to tell you that um, as we upload this video, we have had this dresser for um, several weeks now and the paint is so durable and I have to tell you this was just such a great investment and so if you're considering you know uh, painting some furniture I suggest this paint and um, this process so that you can restore something and make it anew and I just have to tell you too that the camera is really not giving it it's just due. Um, this turned out absolutely beautiful. I'm so pleased and so um, glad that we decided to um, invest in the painting process. Um, it took a while for us to decide, you know, to do this, but I'm so glad that we did. Now, I just wanted to remind you that there is an on wall that we are going to be showing you as well. I don't want you to miss out, so stay tuned. So this is the armoire back in the uh, background of the picture uh, that we're going to be painted. It's a very large piece of furniture. Again, it took us a while to decide to paint this, but after painting the dresser, we decided to paint this also. And so uh, we did the same process with this as well. And we did not have to sand the top of this um, dresser because uh, we did not use the top of the dresser that often. So there was no damage or anything with that. So um, the painting was so much easier with this than it was with the dresser. <laughs> so um, again, the same process, the same paint, the same handles and knobs. And um, so you're going to see pretty much the same results and um, again stay tuned so that you can see the reveal of this armoire.
So guys, thanks so much for stopping in to visit the channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you happen to be new. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And also, we just want to say thank you to all of you that are already subscribers. So grateful for you all. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to watch the videos that I um, upload. So grateful for you all. Just want to say have a great week, guys, and God bless.